Hello friends, invoices are really important for business. That's how you get paid for the work that you have done. Usually an invoice contains an invoice number, the information about the invoice date, about the sender, about the receiver, information about each line item in the invoice, the totals and the information about uh, whether payment must be sent. But imagine if a company receives thousands of PDF invoices that it needs to process and pay each month. It can be quite hard to extract the right data from a PDF. Uh, there are different tools that are used to extract data from PDF, like MindD, that is a paid tool that uh, is 10 euro cents per page. And uh, imagine it can be quite expensive when you have lots of invoices that you need to extract data from and pay each uh, month. There are different uh, AI like tools, like this one, where you upload an invoice in PDF and it sends you a JSON of the invoice data. There are different uh, Ruby libraries like PDF Reader that let you basically copy paste the text of the PDF that you have attached to an object in your Ruby and Rails application and you still have to somehow make this information meaningful like you need to extract the invoice date and so on so you would need to turn it into an object but the EU and its regulation luckily want to solve the problem of digital PDF invoices by introducing the e-invoicing standard that basically enforces each PDF document that is an invoice to have an attached XML document in the metadata that would uh, contain all the inf important information of the invoice in a structured manner. So instead of uh, having your software read the uh, PDF invoice with OCR or something like, like that, uh, you would uh, just uh, uh, read the XML file that is attached to the invoice and that is much easier, it is standardized and uh, you don't need to have any third parties, you can just do it with uh, your application. And actually this uh, e-invoicing standard is becoming uh, uh, adopted in uh, countries like France and Germany already, so in 2026 big companies, in 2027 uh, small companies will have to invoice uh, all their invoices to the French government uh, in this uh, Factor X or e-invoice compliant uh, format, basically having an attached uh, XML document to your invoice. And uh, this uh, is again important for you if you're building invoice and software to stay competitive in French and German markets. And in this uh, episode, we are going to go through a small application that I built uh, here, where you would be able to upload uh, uh, you would be able to upload uh, PDF documents uh, like uh, these, for example. You would be able to upload it uh, into your application, create an invoice object uh, in your application, and read the information from the invoice. So here I have created uh, this invoice. Uh, I saved the PDF. Uh, I uh, extracted this XML file out of the PDF, and I already read this XML file and extract the invoice number, invoice date, due payable amount, and so on. So that's the kind of uh, application we're going to go through in this episode. Feel free to join Super Rails and uh, watch the whole episode and access the source code.